Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today I'm going to show you that you already know how to magnetize your MF3RS2 speed cube. Hey guys, I've had a few requests for this cube and several questions in the comments. Uh, can I make a tutorial on this cube? But guess what? It's like so many other cubes we've already done. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a few pointers and tips, and then I'm going to point you to the right videos to watch that show you how to glue the magnets into this cube and so many other cubes. So actually, you can use my my last video, which was the Use and Little Magic. You can use the uh, Moyu GTS2 video, uh, and you can also use the original MF3RS uh, tutorial. We'll discuss magnets in just a little bit, but I, I kind of wanted to make mine comparable to the uh, Cubicle Labs MF3RS2 cube. They use a five by one uh, magnet in it, and I believe their strength is probably N48. I wanted to use something a little lighter. I like the N42, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, just a little bit of background on this cube. The uh, edge piece thickness is just a little over one millimeter. It's 1.21 millimeter, and the corner comes in at 1.15 millimeter thick. When we look at the Cubicle Labs version, we can see that they place the magnet up somewhat closer to the edge of the edge. That's kind of redundant, but you see the edge surface there. Now, in this particular cube, that's kind of important because we're not really given much room inside the corner piece. If we place a five millimeter magnet all the way down to the bottom, like I, I like to use in the uh, edge piece, you'll see here in the corner piece that it's it's leaned over. It, it can't it can't line up flush and we're not going to have a perfect magnetic connection between the two, the left or the edge piece and the corner piece. So, and actually this happens too with the four by two magnets. If you push it all the way down at the end of that post on the floor surface of the edge piece, your corner piece magnet is going to be canted over a little bit. Now in that cube, in, with that magnet, it's not going to be so bad as you can see in the picture here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to position our magnets up a little bit. There's a couple of little risk with this. Uh, you might get glue on your finger. You might glue the two pieces together. So pay particular attention. This is slightly a little more difficult doing it this way. So once the magnet's on the glue, we just kind of slide it up using the uh, stack of magnets to kind of pull it towards the edge here and then tap it down with my thumb. I put a little extra drop of glue like I usually do. And I'm not putting the helper magnet on this time. I don't want any glue to make it stick to the side. And if you get kind of a stubborn magnet, you can kind of push it up a little bit with a blade of a small screwdriver. And like all of our magnetic projects, we set the edge pieces down on a flat surface and continue gluing the rest of them. Then we move on to the corner piece magnet gluing. There's nothing really different in how we glue in the corner piece magnet, except maybe paying particular attention to covering the uh, edge piece up with our thumb because we're working right on the edge of this corner piece and the magnet can kind of go around the edge and then flip right into the edge piece. So pay attention to that. And really that's it. Uh, after that you've kind of matched them up, you might want to separate the pieces if you're kind of worried that there might be a little bit of uh, transfer of glue from one piece to another and you really don't want to end up with your pieces stuck together. Other than that, the gluing technique and everything else is identical to so many of my other videos, the GTS-2M, the Yushin Little Magic, a lot of them. We're putting the edge piece magnet on the right side of the edge piece. Got a couple of little different things going on with this this particular cube, so that's why I made this video. But you guys know what you're doing by now. This is just kind of like, this is adding a little bit of additional information for this particular cube. So I hope this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them. Uh, let me know what magnets you're using in your cubes, and we'll see you in the next video. You guys take it easy. Happy cubing. Bye.